Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm a laboratory scientist. In this video, I will walk you through 10 easy steps to properly package your test samples for transportation to a testing laboratory. Before we begin, please ensure that you have the following equipment and documents ready. Personal protective equipment, apron, hand gloves, N95 mask and face shield, viral transport medium, falcon tube, Ziploc bag, hard frozen ice or gel pack, geo style carrier, Sharpie pen, disinfectant, completed case investigation form, sample transport manifest, and chain of custody form. Once you have all necessary equipment and documents, you are ready to package your test samples for transport. Step one, safety first. Ensure that your complete PPE is properly donned. Your apron, hand gloves, N95 mask, and face shield should all be fastened properly before you begin. Step two, wrap each correctly labeled viral transport medium in an adsorbent material and place each one in a falcon tube or universal bottle. You can use cotton balls, tissue paper, or paper towels to do this. Step three, use a permanent marker to assign a serial number to each falcon tube or universal bottle in a sequential order. Do this by writing the number clearly on the cap of the tube. Step four, grab your completed case investigation forms. On the first page of the case investigation form for each sample, write the serial number assigned to the falcon tube boldly. Once done, arrange the number samples carefully in batches of 10 or 20 in Ziploc bags. Step five, write the serial number range of each batch of falcon tubes boldly on the body of the Ziploc bags. For instance, if samples in the serial number range one to 10 are placed in a Ziploc bag, the range one to 10 should be written boldly on the body of the bag. Step six, arrange your case investigation forms in separate file batches to correspond with the range indicated on your Ziploc bags. For example, if samples one to 20 are bashed together in a Ziploc bag, the case investigation forms of samples 1 to 20 should also be arranged in a single file in this order. Remember to write the sample range on the file cover. Step 7. Enter the details of your samples into your sample transport manifest serially. For example, if a sample is assigned number 1, its identifying details should be entered first in the sample transport manifest. Sample number 2 should follow suits then sample number three and so on. Step eight, place each Ziploc bag into a dual style or cool box and make sure each specimen is surrounded by hard frozen gel or ice packs at the bottom and sides. This will ensure that your samples are well preserved during transport. Step nine, disinfect the dual styles or cool boxes and ensure they're tightly sealed. Your packaging process is now complete. You may now doff your PPE in the correct sequence. Gloves, gown, face shield, N95 mask. Make sure to perform hand hygiene after removing your PPE by washing your hands with soap under running water. Step 10. Call the transporter for pickup. Explain clearly what samples need to be transported. As soon as the transporter arrives, hand over the specimen along with all accompanying documentation and collect an invoice before they depart the facility. Make sure to notify the testing laboratory once this is completed. There you have it. Your test samples are on the way to the testing laboratory.